Hey guys, so my name is Fran and some of you guys might know who I am because I have had this channel for quite a long time, but I kind of go through these phases where I upload and then I don't upload for years and then I kind of upload and then I don't, but I really miss YouTube and blogging and being creative and all that jazz and I am now married and graduated and I work part-time currently. I work retail and I just really, really miss having something creative to go home to and do. And I just kind of wanna do YouTube again. I want to do this because watching YouTube videos makes me so happy and I really miss being a part of the community, as weird as that sounds. So I think this is a shock to a lot of people that I do YouTube. Um, I don't talk about it a lot because I'm actually very shy about it. I feel like maybe I'll get judged or whatever, but I'm kind of just at this point in my life where I'm like, I'm an adult, I'm gonna do what I want. I wanna be creative and so I'm gonna do it here. So for my first like comeback video, I thought I'd come on with a bright lip because for some reason, and sorry if I'm like not looking at you guys or I'm looking at whatever because my windows are open and I'm getting distracted by all the people. But I'm wearing a bright lip because I always feel like bright lips look really good on camera and I'm also going to be starting off with one of my all-time favorite videos to watch, which are handbag videos. So today I'm actually going to be doing a what's in my handbag slash review on a new handbag that I have that I got about a month ago, a little over a month ago, and it was a sweet present for my husband. I had this deal with my husband before we got engaged that if I waited a year to buy a handbag, he would buy me whatever bag I wanted. Now, there was two exceptions to that. My mom got me a handbag for Christmas, and I did buy one bag for Michael Kors because I didn't have this type of bag in my collection, and I was like really itching for a new bag. It was a good deal, and so he did let me buy that bag. I bought it with my own money. Um, so those are the only two exceptions, so I kind of failed, but he did say that I could get whatever bag I wanted. So I went into the lovely fashion house of Louis Vuitton, and picked up this bad boy. This was not what I thought I was going to get, but I'm so glad I did. It makes me so happy every time I see it, and I just think it's one of those classic bags from Louis Vuitton that not everyone has, which I love. So I'm gonna show you guys what's in here, and then I'll kind of give you a little review of the bag, tell you a little bit more about it if you're interested. So let's go ahead and get started. I have not filmed in so long, so it feels very, very weird to be like filming. I also chopped my hair right after I got married and I love it, but I still don't know how I'm supposed to freaking style it. So this is what I'm dealing with. But first thing I have is an umbrella. I got this umbrella or my husband got it for me and it's from Nicole Miller. I just love the print on it and all my umbrellas break. So I needed a new one. Next, I have my wallet, which is from Kate Spade. It's this like bright fluorescent pink. And then on the inside, it's like a periwinkle blue. All the essentials. I love this wallet. Um, I love how soft and supple the leather is. But I also really like that it has these two card slots right here. So you can put your like two most used cards, like your ID and like debit or credit card. Um, I have those two cards somewhere else, but I just love this wallet. It has so many compartments and it's very bright and fun, perfect for summer. And I think it'd be a really cute clutch if you ever like were going out. I don't really go out, but if I was, I'd probably take that. <laughs> Next, I have two HEB coupons. I have like random stuff down here. I have like trash, a bobby pin, and some Q-tips and a hair tie because, I don't know, those are just random things I keep in here, I guess. And then I have those two like side pockets right here, doubt you can see that. But on one side, I keep more bobby pins. And on the other side, what's this? Oh, so this is what the bag's called. So don't mind my like gross nails, by the way. Um, so that is the name of the bag, if you are wondering. And my bag, I guess I'll just let you guys know now. I can tell you later. Um, this is made in Spain. So if you guys don't know, um, they produce them, I think, in Spain, France, the USA, and somewhere else. So some of your bags might be made in France, which are like the most ideal. And then USA and Spain. But USA apparently has like the most like production errors in making the bags, at least at least that's what I've heard. So I've always heard that it's very ideal to get it from France if you can. 
um, or Spain. So luckily mine is from Spain. And then I guess I'll go ahead and show you guys the other side. There's like a maintenance guy walking out. Hopefully he doesn't see me. Okay. So I have my phone case and this is also from Kate Spade. I do love me some Kate Spade. And look how cute this phone case is. I'm obsessed with it. So fun. And it's one of those folio cases. So you have like two card slots right here and then your phone. So that's Brody and I. And yeah, so I do keep my cards right here um, just because it's very easy just to take this to work or to take this shopping or wherever I am um, because sometimes I don't want to carry a bag. So it is very convenient just to have that on my phone. I also have gum. And then I have this, this look literally looks like I'm obsessed with Kate Spade, pretty much am. But this is another Kate Spade product and it's actually not doing what it's supposed to do. Um, but this is a little key holder. I got this at the outlet for like $30. It was originally like 80. Um, but I bought this so that it would protect the inside of my bag. And I love it. I just have my car keys, my gate key, and like my house key and stuff. But I love it. So what I do is I take my gate key out. I put all of my keys in and I just close it. And I usually have it like this. If I'm not like driving with it, I have it like this in my purse and that just protects the suede lining of the bag so that it doesn't get scratched and stuff. I think if you're definitely going to invest in a bag, you might as well invest in something like this to protect your keys. Now you could just buy a pouch or anything. Um, I just really like these little key holders. I know Louis Vuitton makes them, but they're like $300, two or 300 some. I just wanted one from Kate Spade. And then in this little like side pocket, I have my Hawaiian Tropic chapstick. It's like SPF 45 because it is super hot here. And then I have my little drawstring bag from Louis Vuitton with a little box that held the keys um, to the little lock. So I just keep that in there because it makes me happy. Um, and I like to keep that. So that is everything in the two like open pockets. And then in the middle zip, I think all I have are receipts. Yeah. I just have like a ton, a ton of receipts that I need to organize and stuff, but that is literally, that's that's all that's in there. Nothing exciting. Um, so yeah, that is everything I carry in here. Um, I love this bag so much. It fits a ton, but it's also not too big. It's just amazing. So I guess I'll talk to you guys a little bit about the bag. So um, it is the MM size, so it is the medium in the monogram canvas. And it has the Vachetta leather, so the bare untreated leather all over, right here, here, there, and then a little bit on the inside um, with the pull strap, and then right here. It does clasp um, to make it a little bit more protected if you're like in public, which I really like that it does that because it makes it a little bit harder for like pit pocketers to like get in there without you feeling, you know? So I like that because if I'm ever shopping or anything like that in a crowded place, I can just do that. And it's really simple. Um, I do like that it has the top handles that you can just carry it on. And then it does come with a shoulder strap now. I love crossbody bags and I'm either carrying a crossbody or I'm carrying a tote. There's like no in between. And I bought this bag. So it's kind of weird for me. I do want to eventually buy the longer crossbody strap, which is actually the strap that comes on the Pochette Matisse, which is kind of that like lunchbox looking bag that like all the bloggers have. Um, it's a little bit thinner than this strap. And I almost bought it the day that I got this bag, but I decided to wait and just to try it out with the strap. I actually really like how this strap like fits you just put it on the shoulder, hits very comfortably underneath, and it just makes me feel like a grown up, not carrying a crossbody bag. I don't know. That's just how it makes me feel, and I love it. You can take the straps off. Um, I don't know why you would, because it's very handy. Um, but this bag is just incredible. Um, I just love it. I feel like it's so sophisticated looking, but it's still fun and youthful. Um, yeah, I love it. There has not been a lot of like wear and tear on it. It's held up nicely. I mean, I've only had it a month and if there was problems with it, I'd be very upset because this was not a cheap bag. Um, I have gotten caught in the rain a few times and there are a few little raindrop stains on the bag already. But like the sales associate and like you kind of know with Louis Vuitton, if you're getting a bare um, 
a bag with any bare vachetta on it it's going to get rained on it's going to get marks you cannot baby this it's very bad to treat this leather that's what everyone has ever told me about louis vuitton you don't want to treat it you want to let it age properly um and they're kind of just little beauty marks so i mean i'd probably be mad if there were like rain marks everywhere already but i think that just kind of gives it character i'm not really worried about that um i feel like i take really good care of my bags so I think it looks really good um it is getting a tiny bit of that honey patina which is when the leather kind of darkens and ages but nothing too crazy yet and i kind of really want it to darken already i'm like trying to be patient it's hard but yeah i absolutely love this bag i think if you're looking to get a classic bag from louis vuitton that's never going to go out of style but it's not one that everyone has this is such a good one to go with it's just so beautiful and i love it um this was definitely like worth the weight completely i love this little baby it makes me so happy so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video kind of my comeback video hopefully it wasn't too long i will see you later i will leave all of my social media links down below pretty much just instagram and that's it actually so um yeah um thanks so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next video bye